Good day, immortals. My name is Mika, and today I'm gonna be reviewing some really beautiful felted fairy or pixie hats. Now, I have gained a slight obsession with felt. I think fairy clothing and accessories that are made out of felt is just perfect. The perfect fairy clothing. Now, some of you may remember this really gorgeous hat that Sprout wears for Renfest. And this was made by Mad Hatter Mary. I got it at Texas Ren Fest, but they also sell on Etsy and Facebook, I'm pretty sure. But I won't spend too much time with this one because I've already shown it off before. But there's this one. It's just so gorgeous. But I just felt like I needed more hats because I'm a little bit obsessed. So, so today I will be showing you guys two more hats that I bought from Etsy as well as a hat that I actually made myself. So the first hat I will be reviewing today is this really gorgeous pixie hat from Frixie Girl on Etsy. Now this hat is a little interesting because it was actually made for a one to three year old. So I actually bought it for my daughter Brienne because she is currently one and a half. But I have tried it on her and I can try it on her again in a second to show you just how big it is. But it actually fits me pretty well and I'll go ahead and put it on now. All right, I gotta kind of slouch just to get the whole thing in the frame. So here is this super gorgeous pixie hat. And I don't remember what the original price for this was, but I have been eyeballing this piece for so long. And then like probably a year later, it went down to like $65. So I was like, okay, fine, I'll get it. And I was really hoping that it would also fit me because in the picture, the model who was like three years old was wearing it. It looked really big on her, so I was hoping that it would also fit me, and it does, so I'm really excited that it fits me. And I was actually thinking about maybe making this hat Sprout's next hat. Um, I haven't fully decided yet. I'm actually thinking about making a new one, and I'll explain that in a minute, but... This may or may not be Sprout's new hat, probably not, but um, it's so gorgeous. I mean, look at this. Look at the coloring in this. I just love this like orangey brown color. I just love all of the different like shadings in it. And I love the leaves. I love the swirly bit right here. And I love the little holes. So I'm gonna go ahead and try it on Brie so you guys can see how big it is on her. So here's Brie. It's been a while since you've seen her. Do you see yourself beautiful? All right, you wanna put the hat on? All right. Oh, look at that. See, it's a, it's a little big for a little baby. And it's supposed to be slightly big because it's like a big hood, but like, <laughs> it's a little too big. It just falls off very easily for her. <laughs> Do you think you're cute? She's looking at herself in the in the phone. You're so cute, baby. Look at you. You're so cute. Anyway, let's go ahead and take this one off and move on to the next hat. Ha uh ha. -huh. Ha hat. All right, moving on. This is a pixie hat made by Art of Cecilia. And this one was, I think, $55. And that's before shipping. Same with the last hat. It was before shipping price. But this is a super cute hat as well. It is an adult size hat. And this one, as you can see, is green with a little pink curly Q. And this one, I did end up taking a star off of it just because it was supposed to come with a little curly Q design on the side, like one of those curly Q ferns, but it didn't come with it. So, and then this part doesn't want to fold like this. It just, oh Brie. It just kind of wants to flare out like this. It's not exactly how it was supposed to turn out, but it's still really cute. And I enjoy it a lot and I'll probably be wearing it to Celtic Fest in a few days. But I just wanted a green option. And so that's why I bought this one. All right, just for fun, let's just go ahead and put it on Brie. <laughs> See what it looks like on her. Oh my goodness, you're so cute. Look at you. <laughs> You're so cute. Yeah, it's a little big for the baby. Yeah, it's a little big. <laughs> All right, and then this hat is the one that I made. Um, this is just regular felt. It's not that like Nanu felt or whatever. I just bought some felt from Joann's and 
sewed it together. Um, I did make this hat specifically for Brie, so it fits her head, not mine. Ooh. Ooh, she's so cute. She's so cute. See, there it is. Oh, look at you, baby. You're so cute. Look at that. Isn't that a cute hat? Now, I actually am kind of in love with this design. I think I did a pretty good job designing this hat. So I think I actually want to make myself a new hat that's this same design for Sprout, but I want it to be the same colors as this hat. And I might end up even putting some vines around this one. Um, if it doesn't work out the way that I want it to, I might just end up using this hat. It depends on how well it'll fit my head while I'm like dancing around and stuff because sometimes it kind of wants to fall off when I'm jumping around, but maybe I can use bobby pins and actually pin it to my head. Um, yeah, I want to, I tried dyeing this felt, but I've struggled a lot with it. The green felt dies super easy but for some reason the brown doesn't die like at all so i think that the brown is probably not 100 percent felt it's probably synthetic but i did buy some felt from etsy just some pre-made felt that has a nice orangey reddish color to it and so we'll see how that goes now there is one more little bonus thing that i want to review and it's actually the top that i'm wearing so can I put you down for a minute, Brie? So here is the top that I'm wearing. And this was made by Freakoid, Freakoid on Etsy. And she actually makes a lot of fairy felted hats too. I just happened to not get any. I was very tempted to get one of her mushroom hats, but I ended up buying this one instead. And this was like $45 and I think it actually had free shipping. And it is such a beautiful fairy felted like crop top bikini thing. Um, I do actually want Sprout to wear this, but obviously it would go over my bodice because I'm not going to entertain a bunch of little children Dash. in a bikini top. <laughs> but we'll just have to see how that goes because this is gonna add an extra layer of heat. So I might have to save this for like the winter season, you know, towards the end of the season when it gets to be around Halloween time. But it is just, so lovely and it was only $45, okay? $45 for this. So Freakoid is extremely cheap and definitely worth the price. And she has like a bajillion things in her store. So go ahead and check out Freakoid, Art of Cecilia, and Frixie Girl on Etsy. All three of those shops have amazing fairy felted stuff. And then there's a few more shops I don't remember the name of, but I will be doing another fairy felt review video in the future. I've already bought my things. I just have to wait for them to get here. So ever since I became Sprout the Fairy for Renfest, I kind of became obsessed with fairy stuff. I've always liked kind of fairy core as stuff, especially elves, but now it's like very fairy specific. So definitely expect to see more fairy related stuff on my channel, at least till I get bored of it, I guess. And let me know in the comments if there's any other videos you would like to see from me. If you request fairy specific type of videos, I'll probably get around to doing it just because I've been extra obsessed with fairies lately. And I really appreciate everyone who's watched this video. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more fairy or fantasy or medieval content. And thank you all so, so much for watching, and I really hope to see you in the next video.